Hey guys, today I want to show you an amazing new technique that you might not be using with Midjourney, and that's right here in the Explore tab with Styles. Now I have a prompt set up, Blue Heron, with the scientific name of the heron that always gets good results. Marshland Waterbake Early Morning. Now, here's what you do is, we're in Explore, we're in Styles, this is all about SREF codes. We can put in the search bar here, watercolor, and then a bunch of watercolor SREF codes will pop up and we can try this style and we could try another style like this one. We could also try a different thing like graphic and then they've got a bunch of different graphic kind of looks. Let's find one that we like, maybe this one or I like this one, okay? And then we could also, let's try one more and let's call it colored pencil. And then let's try this one and let's try this one. I'm just picking these kind of at random. So we go back to the create tab, you can see here's our results. So blue heron with the scientific name, blah, 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 blah. And then here's the SREF code that we're trying. And then you can see that we get different results. now. Why does this matter? Well, this matters because sometimes when we have a project, we don't really know what we want and we want to kind of experiment a little bit. This technique allows you to find a really good answer for what you want to do super quickly. And so this is just playing around with different ideas to find something that you could really use and, and work with. And, uh, and then maybe that's going to be good for your project. So let's say we liked this one, okay? I kind of like that color pencil, pencil style, but now we want to do something with it. So let me show you a good way to play with that. So we just, we get the prompt here, and then this is stylized 150, okay? And then this is the SREF code. So what happens if we adjust the stylize? Now stylize is the amount of creativity that Midjourney is using. So we could play with this. So we could use the power prompt and we could say 30, 80. We already know what 150 looks like. So let's say 300 and this goes up to a thousand. So let's do 500 and let's do a thousand. By doing this, you can test out the limits of creativity with this SREF code that you found. And this is how you can kind of dial in maybe a look or something for something you're creating. So this is at the level 30. And then this is at level 80. And then here's we at 300. And then this is 500. And here's a thousand. So which of these do you think looks the best? I was looking at these. I kind of really like this one. That looks really nice. I like the detail on it. Has a really cool look. But how else can we do it? So let's keep stylized 500. But let's control the level of the SREF code. And we can do that, right, with a style weight. So we know we like the 500. So let's do style weight in the same way we can adjust this from 0 to 1,000. So let's do one at 30, let's do one at 80. The default is 100, that's what you see right there. So let's do 150, 500, and 1,000, just to see what we get with the style weight. Now, a lot of people confuse style weight with stylize, and they use the same word, style. So stylize is the amount of creativity that Midjourney uses. Style weight controls the volume of the SREF. So, the lower the number, the less the SREF is gonna be involved. The higher the number, the more the SREF will play a part in how the image is created. So here, remember we're still at stylized 500, but now we've got style weight 30. Completely different looks. Here's 80. I like the 80. Ooh, I like this one. Here's 150. Here's 500. 
and here's a thousand. Oop, I did a hundred. I forgot to, it didn't do a thousand. Let's do that real quick. Just I, I needed a zero. So I really liked uh, this one. So I thought this looked amazing. So how co else could we improve this? Well, an easy way to play with this is with the edit and we can go to, we can change the aspect ratio, maybe make it just slightly larger, scoot this over a little bit, create some negative space. I like the rule of thirds. So one third for vertical, one third for vertical. Maybe we scoot the bird just about right there. We hit submit edit. All right, here's uh, a couple fun results. I don't know why it's giving us a, a little black line there. That happens sometimes in mid journey. Um, Easy way to fix that is just with your tool here. And now we have something that we can really use. So maybe we're using this for an illustration for some social media or a banner ad or whatever you wanna do. You could drop in some a logo or something right here, really super easy. So just to recap, did you see how easy it was to find some styles that you like and play around with them? It's super, super easy to do. Just put in your prompt and then change uh, whatever you want to do with, say, a film noir, and then you could test it out. And then it's going to give you a prompt that's real easy to do. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hey, if you want to learn more about how to use Midjourney better, please join the Midjourney Academy. The link is right there in the description. Love to see you there. Thanks for watching. See ya.